Hey, so today I'm working on the, the Ford Ranger again. Um, I'm happy to be working here at my dad's shop. We got in a lift last night here. So now in his shop we have air compressors. I got all my tools. And a lift. We even got the stuff to do oil changes. But today, I'm working on the Ranger, and we're pulling out the water pump. See, the water pump goes down in here. And uh, this is 2.3 liter inline four. The motor is built by Mazda. It's a Mazda engine. And uh, here's the pump. This is a new pump right here. Pretty small, but here's the old pump. Let me talk about this. Um, there's a, see there's this little ring here? Well that ring sits inside, I don't know if you can see it, but let's see, right in here. There we go. Let's see if I get that to stay. Right in here is a lit where that ring sits, right in there. And um, that uh, that ring fought the crap out of me. It probably took me an hour and a half to pull this out because uh, it kept breaking the ears off. Like right here and there. So I went in and tapped behind it and kind of pulled this out. And uh, yeah, it got stuck pretty good. So um, I ended up breaking off. See, here's one of the ears. <clears throat> And I didn't think I was getting crazy with it, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I tapped on that and it came right the hell off. So, uh, but the what I was trying to do is, is there's the thermostat behind there. Now let's see if I got the uh, new one. Anyways, I'll get that pulled out here in a minute, but um, changing out the thermostat, because this engine, has uh, doesn't have a problem running hot. It has a problem running cold. And um, as you can see, it's kind of buried in there. So the thermostat on these little two, three engines is built into the, the housing. Actually, let me get that thermostat out and I'll show you. Okay, so here's the thermostat. It's built into this thermostat housing right here. Um, and I had, this one has the sensor on it. This is actual engine temperature sensor right here. So it's down in there. Only three little bolts hold this on, but it's all one piece. So, cause it's all one piece, uh, on, on, um, I think an earlier model of this, they had, um, you could buy each piece separately in the thermostat. I think it's like 10 bucks and the housing is like, I think it was like, like 20, but all together from Ford, this part cost almost two, uh, almost 200 bucks. I found that part on rock auto and it's a motorcraft part and has motorcraft numbers and everything on it. So it's, it's legit Ford, but it was $109. So uh, definitely going to be very careful putting it in. But uh, let me start pulling some more of the hoses off of the thermostat housing, and then we'll pull the thermostat out.
okay, so I have this new tool. Uh, one, it helps you check for leaks because it puts a vacuum on the system right here. So what you do is you flip this little switch. And then, see where the water is hooked up? Just flip this little thing, and there it goes. It pulls, using the vacuum, it'll pull in the, uh, it'll pull in the coolant. Now, what it's supposed to do is, because there's no air in the system, because it's a vacuum, it's supposed to uh, help the system drain faster, or, you know, burp faster so you don't have to uh, take the air out of it because there's no air in it because it's literally under a vacuum. So it's filling up now. See? All right. So it, it's a pretty inexpensive kit, it cost me about 90 bucks, and it definitely is filling the system. See it? Now you gotta make sure that uh, you shut each valve off, and then you start this one. Holding the vacuum again, you just push up and left. Alrighty. So it fills its hole. Check a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to depressurize the system, see there we go, see now it's settling down again, now let's put this under a vacuum. Okay. Um, I went through a pressure cycle where I pressurized the system and then drink and then put a vacuum on it again and there's the coolant level. Um, I like it because when I was putting a vacuum on it, it helped me find some stuff I forgot to hook up. So uh, now that that's all done, let's go ahead and fire this thing up and see what it does. Guess that's not perfect. Let me turn that off and top that off again. Oh man, damn. Okay, so let me put some more fluid in there. Whoa. Got a little. Alright, cool. 
Go ahead and top this off. All right, I topped it off again. And let's see what it does. See how, how it runs this time. Okay. Let me bleep this out and then...